Bow Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. Honestly, I don't know. What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna to talk about not getting knocked out by the bar when you're doing a split jerk, okay? It's a common problem that a lot of beginners will get when they're first learning to do the split jerk. They're thinking about using the arms, which are very small, compared to the legs. So we need to make sure that the legs are doing the work on the split jerk. And I'm gonna show you how you can avoid hitting your face. Watch this. So, the hit in the face comes from when you're driving the bar overhead, you're using the arms instead of the legs. So what you'll see is as my elbows drop to press with my arms, it drives straight into my chin and all your teeth will just go and fall out. So instead, what you need to focus on, especially when you're first learning how to do the jerk, is actually starting with the high elbow position and focus throughout the dip and the drive, keeping the elbows still. And you can practice this exact movement that I'm doing now, just doing through my dip and drive without leaning forward, keeping the torso upright, and just keeping the elbows still throughout the dip and drive. This will teach you to let the legs do the work to throw the bar up overhead. Now, what I like to think about when I'm doing the jerk is I think of it like a throw and a catch. And the catch is when the feet move into their receiving position. That way, like I said, when the legs are driving the bar up, the bar is becoming weightless in the drive phase, which gives me enough time then to move into my receiving position. So I'll show you that again now. It's from here, throw and catch. Now, a couple of key things also to remember is that you have a nice solid platform for the bar to rest on. So what I'm thinking about here is I'm bringing the shoulders up and forward so the bar is resting off my windpipe, which makes it easy throughout the dip and drive for the bar to stay still, but also that the bar is in the palm of my hands, not in the fingertips. The bar's in my fingertips in this position, it makes it very difficult to catch it in the correct position. So I've got shoulders up and forward, elbows still throughout the dip and the drive, and bar in the palm of the hands. You nail these three things, you won't knock yourself out on the jerk, and it'll make it much more efficient for you to drive the bar up and overhead. And remember, if you struggle to find that front rack position with the bar in the full grip of your hands, that means you're probably struggling with your front rack mobility. So go and check out my other video on front rack mobility, which will help you improve that so that you're nailing the jerk next time. See you guys in another video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you soon.